Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. Few updates since the last episode. This guy is almost about to upgrade. So, in the previous episode, we optimized the rail lines a bit, we parallelized it, and in this one, I think we have a lot more optimizations to do. Because if you see here, we are earning money, 1.56M. We are earning a lot, everything is earning money. All lines are. And our breadwinner is still the stone track, 2.45 million. Imagine that. And I'm staying close, staying really close here. Taking a look. And this one, the oil well, is actually upgrading in one month. So by the time August hits, this production should increase to 200, I guess. Or 400, is it? Hmm, let's see. But that's how it is. When the production reaches its maximum and stays that way for some time, that it will be forced to upgrade to cope up with the demand. And that's what you want. You want always full production, full capacity, and that will force the establishments to upgrade themselves. So let's see this in action upgrading. And let's, let's see how that changes. There should be a sound. Come on. There we go. It extended a bit here. So I'm assuming all this green space will be filled when it gets fully upgraded. Now from 100 became 200, perfect. Now we have to monitor this. Because if it starts producing too much or too fast, then we'll have to upgrade our train so that he can take all of this oil. Anyway, before that happens, we do have a bit of uh, bottleneck here. If you look, construction materials are fully on the go. So our train is, we only have a single train going to both directions. One going to, what town is that? To Hastings. And one going to South. What is this? Emsol. <laughs> yeah. So we only have one train going both ways. And I think we can afford to do more because look at that. He just left carrying 50 construction materials. And there is already 55, 56 pending waiting here going to the other side so I think we can afford to buy one more train actually if you look at the construction materials plant here production is ongoing it just upgraded we have all the stone we need we have a lot of stored product here and we have a lot of potential so yeah I think we can afford one more train let's just copy this one this guy is uh, has 64 capacity so let's try to buy that Locomotive, let's buy the biggest one. Hmm. Forgot we got this one as well. This is cheaper. The A35 is much more expensive, but much more powerful as well. In terms of tractive effort, yeah, more powerful, more expensive, less lifespan though. Let's see. It was equipped with larger wheels and a longer fixed wheelbase. Hmm, very tempting, honestly. Very tempting. You know what? Let's try it just to change it up a bit. Yes. And then let's get uh, 64 capacity of uh, construction materials again, which is this one, I believe. Yep. Let's select you so I can see. 16. Oh, man. I don't think I'll have enough money. <laughs> let's wait for one more tick. Yeah, I don't have enough. Look, 375k. 386k. Come on. Once this guy hits, once train 2 hits the town, we should earn a bit of money. Patience. Come on. There we go. Okay. There, 64. And you go to the construction line. Perfect. Now let's see how you look. Now this guy is a bit slower, a bit less powerful, but he should be a lot cheaper in terms of running costs. And in terms of top speed, 90 kilometers per hour, that's not too bad. I guess that will work. And uh, let me do something here. So let me actually change this line. The train construction line. Let's make that into construction going to Emsol. So let's say train South Emsol SE construction. Let's say industry. No, let's future proof this. So all industrial uh, deliveries should go there. And then let us remove these two. 
3 and 4. So let's make another line for Hastings. Remove and remove. There we go. So now our new train, our old train rather, should get a new line which is going from this place to that place. Perfect. Upper Hastings. Yeah. And let's name this guy Crane Haste Things Industry. Ah. Oh. Haste. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really sure which is the best uh, naming convention, but so far, I think we should be able to make it work. Anyway, let's go and pick user. Alright, perfect. Now, hopefully that didn't make the, all the construction materials disappear. Yep. So now you see two paths here. One going to South Emsol, one going to Hastings. And now it's much more segregated and... Uh, more parallelized, so to speak. So our train is actually waiting for a free path. Why? Uh -huh. Seems like I did something here. Made a boo-boo. So I think I should put some signals because the way it happens right now, this train is carrying oil, right? And he's crossing this one. And it seems like all the trains here are waiting for him to cross before they go. So I think we should put a signal somewhere here, right before the join. I was thinking we shouldn't need that because there was a station there which should automate that stuff, but it seems like that doesn't work some, for some reason. So if we put something here, I think that should work fine. Does it? Yeah, that made him go. All right, so now he's going. And this will make the oil train wait until here if needed. And then we'll go and proceed if uh, that's free. Yeah, that should fix up things. Now we still don't have uh, passing lanes here, but that's fine since we only have one train on each line. So we'll worry about that later. For now, let's see if we are earning enough money. See? Uh, this guy is waiting. Honestly, I don't think he needed to wait, but yeah, there we go. Alright, fine. So now our new train should be filled up perfectly. 64. Yes, there's even some left. 16 left. And then the other way is 10. This guy. Alright. Now let's take a look at this one. Because I want to make sure that he reaches his top speed. Make sure that what he's carrying is not too big for him. Otherwise, we'll have to switch out the trains. Yeah. 42 and increasing. I think that's... Hmm, that's a bit slow, honestly. Stop speed is 90. He might be carrying too much. So if we look at this train, for example, this is going 88. Or if we look at the other one, where is it? Yeah, he's going too slow. For example, this one. I'm guessing this guy with the A A35 should go much faster. 64. His top speed is 64, 65. Yeah, that's way too slow. I think we'll have to replace him. It was worth a shot on the list. So I think it should be fine. Yeah. Alright, he is increasing slowly, 72. But he will not for sure reach his maximum speed before he reaches his destination. Yeah? Yeah, so that's how you test stuff. More or less. Trial and error. Okay, cool. The fuel depot, the oil refinery is upgrading in one month. That's perfect. We do have a bit of oil stored there and everything. Alright, that's nice. So what I can do here, this guy I'll ask to return to the depot. Let's switch up his uh, locomotive to a more powerful one so he reaches his max speed. Because if we look at... Oh, I just closed the window. Where's our guy? This one. So this guy, for example, reaches 100 kilometers, no problem. See? Yeah, so that's the ideal way. So we get as much speed as we can. Now, here, I, I just... Hmm, why don't we have any truck depots here? Alright. Yeah, we are missing some industries. I think it would be best if I would make a truck depot here as well. Like, for example, if I make one, um, 
Yeah, just even one would be enough because if we look here, construction materials is 61 over 90. Now, that might mean the demand isn't too high. That might mean because I'm not hitting these industries. See those yellow ones which are not uh, shaded white? Yeah, those are the ones that I'm not hitting. So if I make a truck depot here, that should improve things a bit. Let's see. Truck station. Oh, and yeah, I wanted to test something. I had a trick. I saw a trick, but I wanted to verify if it works. Now, it might be a bit cheaty. Not really, but I'll show you later what I mean, okay? And uh, let me explain the rationale behind it, why I don't, cheat, why, I don't why I don't think it is cheating at all. Alright, one sec. Let me just position this guy like so, yeah? And close it off. Take him as close as possible. Small street should be fine. Alright, right, right. let's me go with, make it medium. I changed my mind. <laughs> Alright, so this guy should reach those guys. No problem, but... Um, are you reaching the train though? Yeah, you are. Okay, perfect. Wait a minute, let's take a look at the depot first if our guy arrived already. Yes, he did. Okay. Pause. Expenses are expensive. <laughs> okay, we sell the vehicle here because he's too slow. We got 1.39 million there and let's buy the more powerful one. The i35. Perfect. And now you go again. To the SE industry. Off you go. Now you should be more powerful. Let's take a look. Let's monitor your speed. Alright, going back here. We do have a truck depot, but that won't be enough. Even though he reaches that, he has to go somewhere. And yeah, it's a bit wonky. Because even though he's in range, he won't really deliver anything. Like... It won't just teleport from the train uh, station to the truck station and then to the industry. There has to be another stop. And this is where the glitch is. Or glitch or I'm not sure if this is intended. And I haven't tested it so I might get really embarrassed here. Uh, let's see. So if I make for example a bus stop here. And I make a line from this place to that place see it works guys so you're actually able to make truck deliveries to bus stops yeah now some of you might say well that doesn't make any sense why will you deliver to a bus stop well if you think about it well why will you deliver to a different truck station don't you have to deliver to the actual establishments and not just to a truck station so this means basically delivering to this area right and I don't think that's cheating because normally this should be able to reach those establishments anyway. But anyway, <laughs> that's more of a philosophical battle. But for me, I'm happy with that. You know, it doesn't make sense anyway to delivering delivering to a truck station. So might as well deliver to a bus stop. It's the same. Same banana. At least in my books. Right? Now let's go and get one road vehicle, just a freight here. Uh, Benz should be fine. Set you to the new line. And then let's say this is... Uh, hmm. Let's see. The new line will be named Truck Hastings Haste uh, Industry. So if we see here, from here to here, we're actually hitting all the industries already. Yeah, no yellow thing, no yellow thing untouched. Perfect. Alright, so that's the concept at least, but if that works, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see soon enough. And I did close the window, my bad. Uh, the train, so I didn't see if it was going top speed. I have that tendency to close the window by pressing delete. You might have noticed it. Delete button by default closes all the windows. So if you have a lot of clutter, just press delete and it should close everything. Well, that has a disadvantage of closing the ones you do want to lock. So I kind of was hoping there was a feature to lock some windows. So even if you delete, press delete, you should, those windows should stay. Get the picture? Yeah. 20 crude oil, production 118. Yeah, 
try to ship more fuel. We are actually lacking in crude oil, if you think about it. Yes. Yeah, because we have a very limited space here. Let's see. Alright. But anyway, look at the train. 91 kilometers now. 92. 93. That's much better. He's reaching his almost maximum speed now. Perfect. In terms of crude oil, we do have 36 here. Mm, production is ongoing, 104, and we do have a lot more stored. Now, I'm not sure why that's low. Why he won't load more into this train station. When he has a lot of things in stock here, 58. So maybe we need to upgrade our train already. Or maybe we even need another one. I'm not sure. Yeah, but let's ask this guy to go to the depot. And let's add two more wagons to him. Right? In terms of stone, we have a full wagon right here. Does he reach his maximum speed? He does, almost. So I guess he should be good for two more wagons as well on his way back. I don't know. Let's see. Let's take it. Let's take this one step at a time, shall we? I'm getting too excited. All right, let's do some checks while waiting. This train, 21 out of 64. Why are things slowing down here? Wait a minute. Production is. Try to ship more construction material. Yeah, I am. 116 out of 216. I have a lot of demand. Why are you not supplying enough? All right, let's add two more wagons. A wagons, tank wagons, two of you, and they'll set you back to the oil one. That one. Good. Please go the right way. Please go this way. Please be smart enough. Ah, headache. <laughs> Alright, so he, he's going to the refinery without anything on hand that's okay we can reverse him on this side here that's fine <laughs> all right this guy 64 mm, it's not going to get a full load for some reason this is not producing as much or at least transferring as fast as i want oh, come on yeah he'll have to wait for this guy to leave first cross this way before he can proceed, which is kind of a kind of a hassle, but at least we're still learning, no problem. Finances, yeah, positive, not too good, but positive nonetheless. Hmm, yeah, production seems to have slowed down for some reason. Come on, there we go. There we go. All right. So the trick here is we let this guy go straight on this side and then we reverse him to force him to go back to the depot to the uh, b -b -b oil depot yeah oh that's the one there we go reverse and now there should be 50 oil waiting he has a maximum capacity of 54 that's perfect nice what the heck is this 17 that's too slow. Try to ship more construction material. Does it mean production is 200? Potential is 217. I think that means we might be on our... Hmm, is that how you read it? You look at the production. And then you look at the potential. And if it's almost matching, that means you are almost meeting the demand. That's why this is a bit slow. So does that mean we'll need to find more towns then? might be that would be a bit painful we are still hitting everything yeah you're hitting the industries in this uh zone here yes and the yellow ones here we are hitting as well via this one but looks like this is piling up so we'll need more trucks here at least maybe two more a benz would be fine Set you to that one. Nice. Alright, let's see. We're getting a lot more demands on the Hastings part. And it looks like this is effective. Look at this trick. Yeah, he has... Uh, okay, got a bit... Uh, 
I got a bit um, embarrassed there. <laughs> okay, go back. Go and get those construction materials, please. There we go. We ha you have nine. Now let's see if this will deliver to a bus stop. And let me know what your comments are. If you think that's cheating, if you think that makes sense, or uh, you're okay either way. I think actually it's okay either way. As I mentioned, as I explained. It doesn't really matter if you deliver to a truck station in reality because it's teleporting to the buildings anyway, right? So in this way, you save some space. Instead of building more truck stations, you just deliver to the bus stations. Alright, so it looks good so far. He does have 8 construction materials. And if he drops that off, then that's a success. Let's also look at the town. Make sure that that's going to go up. So we have 61 over 87, which is good. Now, if he drops that off, we'll see. 61 out of 87. Okay, he did drop it off. Although it's still 61 out of 87. I'm not sure if that's how you read it. But, yeah, I think he's reaching it fine, nonetheless. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Okay, I think we will have to hmm, make this faster somewhat. Alright, we do have a lot of construction materials here. A lot of demand actually going to Hastings. But to South Emsol somehow it has decreased. And I'm thinking that's reaching the limit there, the potential. Yes. So it might be this is too much already. We might need 60. We might not need all these wagons. I think we can reduce this for now to reduce on uh, running costs. Because look at that. We are earning something, but I think we can earn a lot more if we reduce the wagons. Look at this guy. He's only using three. So I think we can retain four, remove four, and then we add, adjust as needed. That will make things more efficient. Right, are we good here? Yeah, I think we are. Yep, I think that's good. That's good progress. Now, actually, the fuel we can also deliver to Hastings. That's the thing. Hmm. But how do we do that? We can. We do have a line here which says. Uh, what do you say here? Um, line visible only. We have a train Hastings industry. So the only thing we don't have is a train which has oil wagons so maybe i'm thinking we can remove two here and add three oil so he will not only deliver construction materials he can also deliver oil or fuel rather yeah so this guy can carry something back from fuel there carry it back here bring it back there and i, I don't know if that made sense to you guys but for me, it does. So I'll just show you in case it's hard to. <laughs> I didn't explain it that well. Right, so let's make this go to the depot first. Um, and actually, if we do that, hmm. Now I'm wondering the fuel here. It might be that the guy takes the fuel from here, ships it to here, and the train takes it. And brings it back to South Emsol. So like making a loop rather than using the truck. I'm not sure if it will do it will have that logic. But hmm. I guess the easiest way to prevent that is to not have any oil wagons here. To make sure that all the fuel is traveling to South Emsol by by uh, how do you call it? By train. By truck rather. Yeah, by truck. So here Let's remove four of his wagons because I think it's too much. Like right now, there are only 14 in demand, so let's remove some of them. The old ones are, I guess, here on the first, on the beginning part near the train. So let's remove four of you. One, two, three, four. You have four left. Now you go back to South Emsol Industry. Perfect. Our guy here has 49 out of 54 crude oil. That's perfect. In terms of stone, let's see if we do need some upgrades. 44, 45 waiting there. So should be around 60 by the time our train gets there. And he can store 80. Yeah, that's, that's still more than enough. 
think that's good enough yeah so production here is 98 potential is 100 so he's meeting all his demands that's good and later on what we will do yeah we'll make this train we'll remove some of his wagons change them up for oil and he should be able to deliver fuel to Hastings as well multitasking yep that sounds good so we'll have to reverse him somehow hmm how does that work we'll see we'll see so probably we'll make him go here see that's perfect he can only fill three he can even fill three but we have one extra just in case yeah that kind of makes sense all right come on <laughs> We do have 5 million now. I didn't even notice it. We are earning money, guys. If you look at all our stuff here, we are earning something except the industry for the train, which is this one. We lost a bit of money because I did a bit of maintenance there, but moving forward, he should cost less and he should be able to earn more. Okay, so now he's there in this line. We can make him reverse and then go to the depot. Because if you just press head to depot, I think he'll head to this depot over here. Or he might not have a way because he doesn't reverse on his own somewhat. I think that's the logic there. But now it's working. See? Industry. He is earning something now. Bit by bit. Now for some reason, I'm not really sure. The demand for construction materials seems to have gone down here in this place. Don't really get it. Because we are... We are hitting everything. Like 94% excellent. Look at that. And it even has fuel. So don't really get it. Uh, might be just that way sometimes. Alright, there we go. Now this one, we remove two wagons. I hope I'm doing the right thing. And add three oil wagons. If that makes sense. Let three for now. Let's see. Hopefully he's able to carry all that and use the Hastings industry line. Perfect. All right. Did I configure it right? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, you have crude oil 27, construction material 48. Perfect. Now in the beginning, there will be no oil, but once it detects that, that he can ship there to Hastings, he can ship oil to Hastings from here, then this guy should have something on this train station. Fuel waiting here. That's the idea at least, but we'll see if that works. Check, 80 stone, look at that. I think he can afford a few more, maybe two more wagons actually, because there's already 30 here. Let's upgrade him, yeah. We love this game. <laughs> As you guys might have noticed. Hope you are enjoying as well. Do let me know if you have any comments or suggestions, okay? But yeah, hoping you are really liking this as well. So let's have a look here. Are you going to get full with construction materials? Just enough. That's perfect. That's perfect calculation right there. No wasted wagons. Now, I'm not sure if he can carry that though. So we'll have to... Uh, Stay tuned. Let's keep track of his speed. Hmm. Actually, I think this part we can make into dual lanes to prevent that bottleneck from happening, that waiting. It's not much, but I think it, may, it might help. And if you look here, our train is actually slowing down. He cannot reach max speed. Max speed is 100 kilometers. This is the stone train. So it looks like he's carrying too much already. Yeah. And the train to go going to Hastings with the construction materials looks like it's slowing down as well. So it might be that we will need two trains there and two stone trains as well. Might be the case, yeah. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. 59, 60. But now he doesn't have a full load. So maybe we don't have to upgrade the stone yet. Maybe it, it was just a fluke. If you look at production here, potential is 184, production is 240. Wow. 
that's good that's actually very good 65 yeah he won't fill that up he won't fill the 80 up I don't think let's wait a bit more and see yeah he'll only be able to fill 68 or 70 at most in the meantime we are delivering the construction drills to Hastings yes yeah he's not filling that up no need to upgrade him yet this is all good this is perfect calculation <laughs> more or less all right all right so there still isn't any fuel here but I'm expecting now that this guy arrived here with the oil wagons it should detect properly that he can deliver some oil some fuel from here to here and then from here to here and then from here to Hastings finally now I hope I'm making any sense when I'm saying here to here but let me know if I'm getting if I'm getting confusing all right all right the product is the product potential is still 111 hmm that should get upgraded already am I missing something this is in range right yeah it is in range so we should be able to detect that he can put something in this side so the train can take that here on this train station and then the next train could take that towards Hastings that's the idea at least wow this is too slow <laughs> all right let's speed things up a bit maybe things will change let's see but yeah our train is really slow now look at that 76 kilometers per hour it's not even able to reach 80 all right there it is 80 he's not going to reach 90 in time or 100 rather check yep just enough perfect and you sir just enough yep just enough all right, we are upgrading bit by bit. Just in time, guys. Okay. Now, please tell me you are detecting that. Please put some fuel in here. Or if I'm missing something, guys, do let me know, okay? Because I really think this should happen already. The potential here should increase. From 114, it should detect the Hastings part already. So I'm not really sure... Hmm, if I'm missing something. Am I? Let me see. How about this one? 54, 55, 57. Wow, we can actually upgrade our train again. Increase him again. That's cool. Okay, wait a minute. Wait slow down slow down oh, I was hoping that we get something here already so wait 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 you should reverse and go to the depot oh crap why not uh, you should stop first and you should go okay reverse he wasn't fully in yet I think all right, there. Reverse, go to depot. Because the, the lanes here were merging and he hasn't merged fully yet. Okay. Because I'm planning to remove those three oil wagons. Maybe I'll add that later when he... When that refreshes, I don't know. Because I might be missing something, guys. Do let me know, okay? Uh, remove that for now. And you should go ahead and uh, do your do your job to Hastings maybe we will take a new train here assign that there but I'll see what I can do from my end maybe it needs a new train I don't know if it needs to be end to end it shouldn't be the train should not need to to start here and end in Hastings the game should be able to detect that this could be a depot for the fuel yeah at least that's what I think Anyway, do let me know, okay? But in the meantime, that's going to be it for now. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. If you have any tips for me, any questions, do let me know. In the meantime, that's the Clumsy Geek signing off. This is the Clumsy Geek signing off. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a nice day. I will monitor this in the meantime. Bye-bye.